Raleigh police released these videos today showing what happened during a tense encounter between protesters and officers last week. There's now an internal affairs investigation into what happened. CBS 17's Imani Payne spent the day going through all nine body camera videos and joins us now live. Imani. Yeah, there were very tense moments between protesters and police caught on camera. But Chief Brown says it was important to release these videos to the public in an effort to be transparent. <laughs> Newly released body cam video shows this teen girl being dragged and arrested by Raleigh PD officers. Well, this woman clings to her. She's 17. When did she do that? When did she do that? When did she do that? I can't let her go. That woman also arrested. The footage reigniting calls to defund RPD. That could have been me. And like to see like, her being dragged like that and being manhandled by these grown men and she's itty bitty little thing, like that's horrible. The incident starts as officers ask protesters to get out of the streets. The teen girl then seen blocking this cop on a motorcycle, yelling at him. Yeah, it's gonna be a li uh, little girl with the megaphone right in the back corner. Right Next, we hear officers searching the crowd for her. The protesters try to protect her. Wake up. Then things escalate. The minor's megaphone taken as she's dragged across the street and cut. Taken into custody with one other woman. Completely shameful. Um, and to see what's even more shameful is to see our leaders do absolutely nothing about it. Officers then picking up bats, trying to keep other protesters at bay. The charges against both protesters have since been dropped, but calls for consequences for those officers involved intensify. Now we asked Raleigh PD if the officers involved are still out patrolling the streets tonight. We were told no further comment would be given. Now there is a large demonstration planned on Sunday. Activists have delivered a petition to Chief Brown asking that no tear gas or excessive force be used on that day. And they say if their demands are not met, they do plan to sue. For now, we're live in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.